this little box right here, that's right, this little box right here might be the missing link. Let's take it out. So hey, BTM here. Now this is the X-Real Beam Pro, a dedicated spatial computing device designed to be the brains of your X-Real glasses. It's got its own processor, battery, and even a 3D camera. So today I will be unboxing it, setting it up, and I'll give you my raw, that's right, my raw first impressions. So stick around. Now, the next video, we will show a full review using my X-Real One Pro glasses in daily use. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss that. Trust me. All right, so here we go. The classic X-Real packaging it's wide, it's clean, it's minimal, it's very Apple-esque. And underneath all of that glory, we got the quick start guide, we got the warranty card, we got the SIM ejector pin, nothing extra. Now we're going to peel off the plastic. And let's take a moment to appreciate this. Some people find this the most enjoyable part of unboxing. I'm not gonna say that's me. To me, it's just plastic coming off paper. All right, but. So holding it, it feels more like a mid-range smartphone. It's got some weight to it, a sleek, anonized frame, and a premium glass back. Now, definitely not your average accessory here. All right, let's take a quick tour here. On your right side, you have your power button, you have your volume up and down rocker, and then you also have your customizable quick action key. This is basically where all of the action start within this small space right here. The big deal is really on the bottom because on the bottom, you have not one, but two USB type C ports. One for your glasses and one for charging. So you can keep it powered all day long, finally solving one of the biggest problems the old beam had. It's resolved now. And on the back, you got those dual 50 megapixel cameras for capturing spatial photos and videos. So real quick, here is a, a spec drop. It comes with a Snapdragon octa-core processor, a 6.5 inch touchscreen, eight gigabytes of RAM, and 128 gigabytes of storage, expandable, and you can get another version with more storage on it. It has a 4,300 milliamp battery. It has dual USB Type-C ports. It comes with Android 14 with a full Google Play Store downloadable capabilities. It also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.2. I don't know why they still got Bluetooth 5.2. I think it should have been 5.3 or higher, but basically it is what it is. Let me know in the comment section, what would you use the setup for first? Movies, gaming, 3D filming. Drop an emoji or an answer down below and I'll highlight it in my next video. Okay, so now let's power this bad boy up. The first thing you're going to notice is the X-Real logo. Then it's going to boot into Android. Now, setting it up is just like any other Android device. You connect it to the Wi-Fi, you sign in, and then boom, shakalaka, you're in there. 
So the touch screen feels surprisingly responsive. All right, now for the big reveal. Let's hook it up to the glasses and we're gonna see what it's gonna be if you're following me. Cause I'm cool and you're not a fool. I'm just going and I'm taking you to school. I know I'm tripping. And then the Nebula OS pops up and boom, wow. That is amazing. Man, that's dope, that's smooth. All right, so what I'm looking at, and you can't see it, and I'm sorry you can't see it right now. You gotta experience it yourself when you get one. And by the way, a link will be in the description below. But what I wanna do first is I want to move the screen around and I want to open up YouTube. And I want to see how YouTube plays on this bad boy. All right, so I'm tapping on YouTube. You, oh, it beat. YouTube is on the screen. Oh, wow. Now that is impressive. That's impressive. That screen is very bright. You can see everything. And right now I got it set to the medium. So my first impressions after launching Nebula OS system, I would say that it is sharp, it's fast, it's looking way more stable than the screen mirroring on your phone. Using the Beam Pro as a pointer or a touch controller is very intuitive. Uh, I opened YouTube and boom, a massive floating theater screen was right there in the front of my face. This handsome face, not your face, but my face. Okay, so I also got no interruptions, no pop-ups, just plain, simple media. Honestly, this already feels more like a standalone tablet than a dongle. So here's my early verdict. You got a premium build, you got smart port layouts, you got full Android OS ready for real productivity. I still need to test the battery life, those 3D cameras, and real world usage. That's coming up in the next video where I'll pair that with everything from flights to work setup. So don't miss it. Subscribe, drop an emoji if you're excited and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.